hello and welcome back to this channel so today's video is going to be about texture so we're going to try and add some texture to our illustration in adobe illustrator so let's just get started let's first open illustrator so let's go to file and new i'm going to create a file about 10 inches and 7 inches this is a random number that i choose you don't really have to have something in this size but that's okay and in advanced options i'll just pick cmyk and Raster effects as high, you can choose anything you want. Click on create. First off, let's make a rectangle. And let's cancel this. Okay. And uh, for the stroke, I'm going to cancel the stroke. And for fill, I will choose one of the colors. So let me just go ahead and bring the colors in here. Okay. So this rectangle, I'll press I on my keyboard and select this color. Now let's go to layers. You can either find it here or you can find it under window and then layers. In here, I'm going to lock this and click on new layer. Now right click and click on ellipse tool. Let me just put this back. Hold your shift key down, click and drag and make a round circle. And now this one, let's give it this color. And next it's time to make the tree. For this, I've used a pen tool and I'm going to convert this to stroke. And for stroke, I'm going to give this color. Swap this so that it becomes the stroke. Click on your pen tool and let's draw a tree. So I've just made random click, click. And make sure you go ahead and close this loop so that this forms a tree like this. And let's switch this so that you have a fill. If you click outside, your tree will look something like this. I can now move this tree a little bit to the corner and maybe move the circle as well. You can actually make it a little bigger as well. Hold your shift and option and drag it to make it a little bigger. All right, so now our random tree is ready and everything is ready, but there's no texture. So now we're going to add texture. So first of all, let's start off by doing the circle. Now we're going to create a copy and paste on top of the circle. So press Command or Control C to copy, Command or Control F to paste on top. So now there are two circles on top of each other. Now it's time to apply some gradient. Uh, you can click on either this or you also have this option here to click on gradient. But before that, let's make sure we are in fill so that we want gradient on the fill. So let's go ahead and click on gradient. And now let's pull up the gradient window. So you can go to window and then gradient. And once you have here, and if you just click on this slider here, it automatically applies gradient. But we want a different kind of gradient. So you have three types, linear, radial, and freeform gradient. I already have a video on how to work with the freeform gradient. So I'm not gonna cover that. But for this tutorial, we're gonna use the radial gradient because it's a circle and it looks really nice on that. So click on that. So obviously it's going to show up like this because it's central. So you have some options. So I'm just gonna click and drag like this so that it forms a gradient like this. Now you can adjust a lot of things here. This adjusts the white and this adjusts the black. So you can keep it something like this. You can also pull it back or however you want. And this kind of make sure it's like a hard pass and then a softer transition into white. And uh, I think this is fine because I don't want the sun or the circle to be too bright. So I'm just going to keep it like that. But I want the white part of it to be completely invisible, the gradient part. So I'm just going to click here on this white part. And then here you have an option called as opacity. I'm just going to make it zero so that I can see that red part coming in. So now if I move it a little bit, I can see more of the red part coming in. So I'll just make sure that there's a little bit of red and rest of this is black. You can move this a little bit like this as well. Okay, that looks fine. Go back to your selection tool. And now let's add the green or the texture. Go to effect, texture and green. So this automatically pulls up this setting for me. You can see the setting here. I've actually set it to stippled, but you can go ahead and check all the other kinds of greens that you have. And sometimes some of them look really good. But for this one, I think I would like to put something like stippled. And obviously you can adjust these things here. You can make it really high intensity or also kind of low intensity and stuff like that. I think I'm going to set it at this and click OK. So you can see that uh, 
that is a gradient but I don't want this to be so dark so maybe we can go ahead and edit this so a way to edit this grain effect once you have already applied it is you can find it in the appearance window go to window and then appearance so this is a way to edit the grain or any effect that you have applied uh, once it's done so now but like I told you it's really dark so I guess we need to reduce the transparency of this so go to window and then transparency and in here let's reduce the opacity to a little bit so that you can see the grain on this but it doesn't look overwhelming or as such so now let's do the same thing for the tree so click on this Control c to copy Control f to paste on top and let's go ahead and click on the gradient tool and we're going to make sure the gradient is from left to right so just click on this and you can see this varied effect that you have because uh this looks pretty cool doesn't it you can actually have this like this if you want to or you can also modify it that is you can always go to your gradient tool and then edit it however you want by making sure you have darker edges on only one side or something like that but I think I'm just going to keep it like this because I think it looks pretty cool because there's a light background and then you have a darker uh, kind of a tree but let's keep it at that and now let's apply texture to it so go to effect stylize I'm sorry texture and then grain in here you'll again see the same thing you can keep it like this if you want and the intensity as well and I think I'm just going to keep it like that because um, I think it looks good but again I want to adjust the opacity of it so I'll just go back to the transparency so window and then transparency and let's make it about something like this I guess okay so one thing we have to make sure is that we remove the gradient we made sure that the gradient color white is set to zero so click on that and go to your gradient panel click on your white and make sure it's set to zero but I think I want to edit the gradient because I feel like uh, it could have been better if the all the black was on the this side and the whites were on the other side so I'm just going to click and drag so that I can change it like this so however I want so I'm just going to make it like this but I want to change the gradient as well because I think it's too not that stiply so I'll just go to window and then appearance and in here I'll select green and I can see it like this I want intensity to now that's a little too much and this is okay click okay and let's increase this a little bit because I want it to be a little bit higher okay this looks fine I'll click on this and move it a little on the side because we are trying to give that um, weird kind of a look to our tree so that it looks like this now so the only thing that's left is the background so let's go ahead and do the background now so first of all we have to go into layers and I lock this layer unlock the background layer click and click on this Control C to copy Control F to paste on top now we have two copies and now it's time to create a gradient so click on your gradient tool and it'll create something but I want radial gradient so I'm just gonna click on the radial gradient and I don't want it here right? so if you click from here and drag it will create that as the center and then you can make it much bigger and now we'll adjust this however we want like for example I'm just gonna drag this a little bit like this so that we have a nice center around the circular object and then probably make it a little blurry like this this looks fine to me and I'll just go and make sure that the white has zero opacity and now let's go ahead and apply the effect I'm not going to change much just going to keep it like this and test it okay it's pretty dark so reduce the opacity and now you can add any kind of text here your artwork is ready so this is basically what I created earlier and this is what I showed and as you can see I've used much thinner uh, stipples for texture but you can choose whatever you want it's completely up to you so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial it looks really cool sometimes when you instead of a plain artwork for example I can just show you how everything looks if there was no texture on it okay so this is how it would look without texture at all it does not have that rustic look but if you add texture this is how it would look with texture 
so yeah this is basically how you add texture to your artwork and uh, i hope you like this video and if you did please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i guess i'll see you in the next video then bye